Here's my Instagram. Okay, so we have Instagram over here. Mm -hmm. My personal Facebook, and then the people for this. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. Where are we? We're live. We're live. We are live. Yes, we are live at Pet Alice Wine Club Lounge for our first ever live cooking demo. Mm -hmm. uh, with Chef Leo Aguirre. Am I saying that right? Leonardo Aguirre, <laughs> Julio. <laughs> so here, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Julie Colkin, for those who don't know me. Uh, and I'm going to pass it over to Chef Leo to explain what we're doing today. Hey guys, well welcome. We are here in Stonewall, beautiful Stonewall. It's a gorgeous day. It's nice and cool. <laughs> and uh, we have a great wine in front of us. We will talk about the wine in a minute. Uh, today we're going to do a quick demo. It may not be so quick depending on the interaction. Um, but it's fairly easy. We're trying to use some shelf stable items and it's, it's kind of hard to get a lot of stuff right now. HEB is doing a great job providing us with some great products on the shelves right now. They're working really hard around the clock, which is awesome. But um, what I have noticed at HEB is that you can get a lot of produce still. So for that first dinner, a few you know nights, maybe you should pick up some produce and use that up. So you also get you know your veggies today. You can't buy a lot of stuff in the can still. Um, but we're gonna use a little bit of fresh produce. We're gonna use, of course, uh, Fisher & Weezer's uh, sauces today. We're going to be using the uh, chili pasilla, the special. This is, you can get this on jelly.com, wearing a shirt here, jelly.com. <laughs> and uh, of course, for Dallas sellers, you can get it here, you can come and pick it up, right? Mm -hmm. uh, anywhere Curbside. else you can get it? Curbside. Curbside. Yeah, and obviously, Pedro Dallas sellers is available at HEB as well. So yeah. when you're getting your sauces, you can also get some wine. Sweet. Mm -hmm. So, what wine? Uh, so, the dish is going to be sopes. Um, a lot, I don't know if a lot of people know what a sop is. It, it is. Um, Something that is traditional in the Oaxacan, um, in Oaxaca, Mexico. It's a um, simple dish. We're using, since corn was abundant, we're using masa. I know it's a little hard to get bread right now, uh, wherever you may be. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to be using uh, masa, quick masa, just add water. And then um, we got beans, refried beans that you can buy from HEB. They all have in a pack. You can also get them in a can. It's perfectly fine to use them in a can, but all of these packs, because they took up less space in your kitchen, and um, you can buy them in black, regular refried beans. These are great products. Um, also, we have um, chicken. You can, just, if you don't want to make the chicken, you just get it already. Rotisserie chicken. I know Walmart had some yesterday. Uh, it's about five dollars. You can feed, you know, at least eight, twelve people with with this recipe. And of course. So I'm already cut up shredded uh, lettuce, that way you won't have to use your whole head. Keeps in the refrigerator really well, fresh tomatoes. And that's it, I mean, simple ingredients. There's four or five ingredients, throw it all together. It's gonna be, some, you know, it's a little bit of work, but it's well worth it. Mm -hmm. And so, what about the wine? What wine should we have of it? Well, it depends on the sauce. I mean, certainly if you're looking at something with a little bit of spice, we started out, we had the rosé. Rosé is extremely, um, it pairs extremely well if you have a little bit of spice on something. It does bring a little bit of tannin, so it gives a little bit of a savory, heartery uh, pairing there. Mm -hmm. uh, but then if you really have some spice, and it depends on, I know you have some other options here, uh, then we would recommend something that has a little bit of sweetness on it, which is, uh, so we have here our Texas Diva. It's just, it's off dry, it's not super sweet, but it'll balance a spicy, uh, a spicy finish really well. And then we have some reds, and I'm going to wait to introduce those and sure. we have something to eat. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> but, but I mean, we're going to start drinking right uh, now. Yeah. And what about yours? <laughs> I'm sorry, I should, uh, I should pour myself I mean, something. It, well, you should, because I, I feel like I'm going to be a bad influence if people are watching me. It's all about it. But Here we go. Oh. Perfect. That's it. Oh, good. Alright, so, because I'm a sous chef in this, you no, need to tell me, so we, yeah, yeah, so what let's, I need to be doing. <laughs> cool. We're going to get started, we're going to put on our gloves, because, you know, mm -hmm. we want to be sanitary. So, pick it for anyone else at home. You got, I'm sure you have gloves now at the house, because everyone is, are, they're buying gloves, they're buying their masks, practicing social distancing, mm -hmm. which is, you know, a big deal right now. It's really hard for me to... Yeah, yeah, you know, to do the social distancing, <laughs> but we're doing pretty good. We're doing really good right now with it. So um, we're gonna start really quick by we're gonna get Julie to start with the uh, chicken. Mm -hmm. um, Once I get this gloves. <laughs> yeah, chicken, yeah, if, if she can get the gloves off, I'm gonna help you. On, I'm sorry. It's it, it, difficult. 
little, but yeah, you know. Mm. I'm not a chef every day, so. Hey, no. <laughs> this is part of a TV entertainment, you know, watching somebody put on a Confidently put on gloves, yes. Okay, there we go. Cool. Go. So a while ago, I broke out a knife for Julie. We did too. Well, I normally, you know, culinary school, they teach you how to work with a... Um, Super duper. Well, it's just, just chef hire, so it's about 12 inches. Yeah, it works great for everything. But hold on, don't put it up, I'm gonna teach you how to use. I mean, you technically use the, this use the same way. This is off the bone. Well, I know, but you don't want to cut yourself because these are actually pretty, pretty darn sharp. Yeah, I know they. But if you're using a knife like this at home, which I recommend using because you can use the back for chopping, the front for deboning. Um, so you want to pinch it from the back, you know, from the back of the blade. Wrap your fingers around so you have more control, and then you cut diagonally, never straight, never in an angle. Mm. Stand straight, diagonally. So you know. <laughs> FYI, so you, so, you, so you all know. So pinch, hold in the back, diagonal. All right, all right. Well, no, 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 we're going to use a bony because you're comfortable with that. We don't want you to be uncomfortable when doing this. So here we go. Uh, you're going to start. I'm going to move this. You can actually have a little bit more space over there. Not that I don't like me. I mean, we should, be, we should be seven, six feet, but we're not. But this will, this will work for now. I'll do it. Okay, that's so fine. where do you want this chicken once I have uh, taken off? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> you have little bones here. So we're just going to shred it. We're going to cut it up and shred it. Okay. And while you do that, um, we're going to get the masa. We have some instant masa. So it's just corn masa, and it's a two to one ratio. So we're going to be using uh, two cups, and two cups will give us about... Um, six sopas, okay. roughly, depending on how big you make them, or how um, small. So right now I'm gonna, my cup, here it is, I got it, hold on. We're gonna do the okay. fry ingredients before we do the wet. Yeah, yeah, that so way we know. Recipes yeah, <laughs> simply, yeah, in most cases. But we don't wanna, it's harder when you're working with a wet glass and everything's sticking to it. That's the only reason I do it, not because I, I hate baking. Why do you hate baking? Because it takes. You just don't like to take out the eggs early. No, I hate, <laughs> I hate baking because it's like a science. I have to know measurements and stuff. Yeah, and no, no, when you're a chef, uh, you know that doesn't bake doesn't really care about measurements because mm -hmm. we do it all by feel and touch and taste. Uh, so that makes it easy. No, no, I think people are divided between those who like to cook and those who like to bake. Right. Mm. No, I, I agree. So here we go. We're going to, um, I know I need water. Now so. you need water. You know water. what? It's like your hands are, are, are kind of... Chickeny? Yeah, <laughs> chickeny right now. So I'm going to come over here and grab some some water. There we go. The water. Add it like that. That over to the side. And I'm going to mix it up. You want the dark meat as well? Yeah, of course. That's the best part. <laughs> just you know, you know even I, you, I have high cholesterol, <laughs> and, and I am, uh, you know, high in um, my blood pressure. Mm. You know, and so I started eating better, and got on Weight Watchers, and that helps a lot. And you kind of see the um, the masa is coming together. It's just one, two to one, two to one water, two to one water, the masa. <laughs> uh, so I stopped, I started eating better and I lost about 18 pounds and then I thought, yeah, I'm going to start eating a little naughty because <laughs> I miss the, the fat and chicken and a little bit of masa, you know, especially, and it's really bad now mm -hmm. that we're quarantined at home supposedly. Oh, no, no, I think a lot of people are finding it very hard to keep their normal routine. Right. Routines. It's super hard mm -hmm. for me uh, because you go to the refrigerator like every 30 minutes or less. And I saw something on Facebook the other day that had the, uh, uh, a note in the refrigerator and it said something like, you know, you're bored, you're not hungry. <laughs> you know? So, you, so you, should go, you should go back. Yeah, that's true. So that was, that was funny, man. And it's like, it's so true. My kids go there and it's like, oh my God, I hope we don't, you know, turn out to be obese people <laughs> like in, by the end of the, the month. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping. So um, we're kneading the masa, and it's it's nice whenever you can uh, get it moist enough. And if it's not moist, you can always add a little bit of more water. Um, so it just depends how it's absorbing the water. You want to you want a texture where it actually sticks together, making a mess. Oh, that's fine. It's uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you want it you want a good texture, you know, nice and sticky. You don't want it to fall apart. And you can see it's it's falling apart a little bit. 
when I squeeze it. So I'm, I'm going to add just a tad bit more water. But I hate seeing my work area dirty. <laughs> I, I do. I don't know why. There we go. Clean that up. And where's my water? Here's my thing for water. Right. A little bit more. I think I got about half the chicken here. Do you want any more than that? No, I think that's great. Okay. I think that's great. Now we're gonna leave it a little bit um, <laughs> without product because our friend Carrie over here doesn't have any. She has a peanut allergy. Mm. You know, it's, I don't know if it's made peanut up or. It's <laughs> no, a, no, it is. Very know, okay, good. good. Very it's not. Good. It's not one of those gluten free things, right? Yeah, she yeah. actually does have an allergy. Yeah, we could kill her with peanuts. Basically. Oh God. <laughs> it's it's a cooking show, not a murder show. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> For, for those who couldn't hear, Carrie said it was a cooking show, not a murder show. Right. <laughs> so. So I know. Some allergies are extremely, extremely serious. So do always ask your guests what, which allergies they right. have. Right. So. Yeah, we, we don't want her to die. No, that would no. be bad. <laughs> no. We want to keep her because who's going to be recording on the other side <laughs> for us next time we do this? All right, okay. good. So we have the chicken cut up. Um. We have that ready. I'm gonna go ahead and move this. I'm gonna set this over a little bar right there. We'll put our product back over here. Mm -hmm. you, let me give you this. You can just set it over here. Okay. So here we go. I'm gonna keep on getting out of my glasses, guys. I'm sorry. So we have the masa. It's ready to go. I would recommend Sweet you. Right yeah, go for it. I would recommend with the masa to cover it, wrap it up with some um, saran wrap. Mm -hmm. You know, keep that moisture in. Let that water, you know, really get up in there. Do you have saran wrap? You know what? I don't have saran wrap. <laughs> but do. this is, but this is, you know, we're doing this live, and it's like you always forget something, right? And even you if want I were to go get saran wrap, no, I don't. Okay. We can, <laughs> but I'm just letting you know this is what you would do if you were doing this at home, right? So let's see. I'm gonna move this stuff and put this over here. Oh, you did one over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. way, way over there. Yeah, just because we're done with it. We're done with it. Like that. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So, let me see if I have another one here. I don't. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Another cutting board? Yeah, well, I don't need one. So, we're going to do, we're going to just do some little balls here. Okay, here. Come on, get your gloves on. Girl. We're gonna... This is going to take another 20 minutes. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's hope not. Let's hope not. We might turn off our customers, guys. We're gonna get the most, we got some masa. Turn a little balls. Probably, I don't know, I'm gonna say two inches here. There we go. And, if you, you know, if you have kids, this is something fun to do with your kids at home. That way they can not be as bored, not have to come to the, to the refrigerator every, what did I say, 30, 30 minutes, but really more like 50 minutes. Right. Just take off a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little ball in my hand. Yeah, yeah like that. There you go. Rolling balls. So after you do that, we're gonna flatten it out with the back of our palms. Oops. Oh, I'm gonna move this moss over here. I'm thinking it's, I'll move it to this little plate just so it's not in our way. It's a little crumbly. Yeah, and we'll work. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. we can always add a little bit more water to it, but I think it might it might work. Okay. I think it might work because we still have plenty of water in there. So the main thing here is to flatten it, maybe about a quarter of an inch, and then you can just pinch the edges to create a little plate. Mm -hmm. See, that's what we're doing. And flatten it up. Mm -hmm. Can you do it? Can you work it? <laughs> <laughs> working you. on it, working on All it. Right. Yeah. Like that. It looks okay. I'm not gonna say that. What's this? It looks like an ashtray. But anyway, well, you, well, I guess it does. This, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of um, uh, middle school. Middle yes, school. it's like this. I had, I had a, a, my art teacher, uh, Miss Hardison. I, I know Miss Hardison follows me on Facebook <laughs> and Instagram. So Miss Hardison would teach me how to make uh, pottery stuff, mm -hmm. then painting, paint it, and. Um, I didn't do an ashtray because obviously at my house, mm -hmm. everybody was like, and still is probably super religious. So we, it was like, you can't smoke, you can't drink, you can't do any of this. So if I were to go home with an ashtray, back then everyone smoked. 
Yeah, I was gonna say I was that, that's the thing. I'm old enough that yeah, we actually did make ashtrays. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> <laughs> but, no one I mean, thought anything of it at the time. I remember my sister being born and me going to Santa Rosa Hospital and people are, are like, we had, I'm sitting with my dad waiting for my sister to be born and there was like a, a, a cigarette machine yeah. inside, um, the inside, inside the lounge <laughs> yeah, where you wait it so you can give it cigarettes and go outside and smoke in front. That's crazy, right? Yeah, and yeah, it is. They're still promoting it even mm -hmm. in hospitals, mm -hmm. but any times change. So oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. I know, Dex Scott's <laughs> friend of mine says that all the time. We're going to get this started um, over here. We have one pan, a uh, little bit of spray canola oil. Just spray it down. Um, so we're going to warm up, warm up our chicken. Okay. So, but while I'm warming up, you're still going to be doing this. Okay, I have to make uh, another one? Yeah, we're going to make... Like an enormous sea anemone or something. Uh, hold on. Then, uh, we're gonna, <laughs> so, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, you can either pick it up with a spatula, it keeps okay. it, you can kind of see it, it, it stays really well. Mm -hmm. and Instagram over here, it looks nice. Got a little lip, this is Julie, she did pretty well. Mm -hmm. pretty, you did great. First time around. That's impressive. <laughs> God, it could be Mexican. Could be. If I was lucky. Uh, maybe one day, one day, when you grow up. You you will be blessed with some type of Mexican gene. I mean, have you done your genealogy? No, I haven't. Well, she might be. I have. Dave, part of me, my you know? brother did, however, and uh -huh. yeah, we're pretty. I think it was ninety nine percent Northern European. Uh, so. well, maybe that point three percent. Like, I think I'm point three point two percent macro. Um, I don't want to say macro. That's that's pretty, um, African. So okay. it's like you know, I'm sure everyone originates from that, depending mm -hmm. on what you believe. But you know, for me. It's crazy. We have a little bit of everything. I'm a mutt. <laughs> Happy to be one too. So here we go. I'm gonna put the chicken and just shred it. Um, a lot of times, when it comes seasoning, this is the original um, flavoring. Nothing, no lemon or garlic or so. Stick it in the pan. Stick it in the pan. Right. <laughs> That's it. Medium heat. We don't want to. It's already cooked. All we want to do is bring it up to temp and. We're gonna add our secret sauce. Secret sauce. So you guys see it there. This is Fisher and Weezer's. Um, so it's Special Pasilla Chile Sauce, the Oaxaca. Uh, so this is, Fisher and Weezer does like all the work for you, right? Um, I don't add any salt or pepper to my dishes because all your flavoring is coming from here. Um, it's perfectly seasoned, tomatoes, bell peppers, uh, I believe this one has, um, it does have your right peanut um, soy, which you would probably die if you had some. <laughs> so if you're allergic to peanuts, you can't have it. All right, so here we go. This is a, and uh, it's smoky, more than what it is spicy. Um, it does have some spice to it, but it's smoky. Uh, it's got some acidity to it. You wanna try it? Yeah, yeah. I'll try it, I'll try it with wine. Oh good, obviously. good, good, good. There's a touch. I'm, I'm with, I want to go overboard here with it. Yeah, we don't want to go overboard. There you go. All Perfect. Right. And the acidity comes from um, pineapple juice. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's a, it's a really cool sauce, and you can just even smell it right out the bottle. Mm -hmm. You know, and so and then yeah. paired with the white wine, it's super complex, so it just plays off your palate with all these flavors and textures. So now it has a really nice. I mean, it's. The, the, the tropical fruit mm -hmm. um, goes really, and then the smokiness really brings out the fruit on the rosé. Mm -hmm. So I think this, is, this is, should make a wonderful pairing. There we go. I can hear a little sizzle over here. Yeah. Now that, that is a really, you know, add the chicken to it too. And yeah. Suppress the fat and the chicken. Right. We'll cut with the tannins. So this will make an excellent pairing. Let me also, while we're talking about wine, let me open two more of the wines that we have here. We'll talk about the parents while he's cooking. I've made another sea anemone. So oh, we'll perfect! <laughs> so we have free love now. It, love it. <laughs> and I'm gonna continue your mm. work. Okay. So what I'm opening right now is the Texas Diva. As I said, this is an off-dry wine. But for the most part, Cardinalis makes dry wines, but there are occasions where having a little bit of sugar is the right way to go. And certainly when you're looking at Mexican food, a lot of 
you know, mm -hmm. a lot of flavor going on, having in particular spicy flavors, this will pair very nicely very often. So let me bring this to the stop. Yeah, it happens always live, you know. Yeah, you're no, doing... I could open these all day long, but not today. <laughs> and, and you did, anyways, you know, you recovered. You recovered. You were going to look really bad there in about a few yeah, minutes. Yeah, it sounded like. We were having... One professional cred, but. <laughs> yeah, I know. But you saved it. You saved it. Okay, we got to turn this. So, and the grape? Uh, the fundamental grape in this wine is muscat, uh, and for those who uh, are familiar with muscat, you'll know this is extremely aromatic, a lot of floral notes on it, uh, but that should pair very nicely with the, um, again, with the smoke and earthiness of this. Mm. Yeah, that really lifts the floral. Um, this, yeah, this, so it's really with the floral on the muscat. And brings out actually interesting enough a savory on this savoriness on this that you don't normally get or mm -hmm. don't normally get as strongly. From the wine? Yeah, from the wine. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's usually because the muscat is so overwhelming, the floral sometimes you just don't mm -hmm. notice the other things as quickly. Uh, but in this case, yeah, it has a kind of sage or dill mm -hmm. note that really comes out, which you know makes it more yep. like food. Because that's always something yeah. to remember. Wine is food. What's uh, the sweetness you know, on it? I mean, how sweet is that wine? Is it sweet at all? Because a lot of people get uh, they have this uh, assumption that because it's muscat that they're going to be drinking sweet, sweet wine. wine. Right. Now, so, this is what's called off dry. So someone who really likes sweet wine would not think this is sweet enough. Gotcha. So this is more nearly just, it's a touch. Um, you, you feel like, generally speaking, you feel sweetness, particularly when it's a light sweetness, just sort of on the tip of your tongue. Mm -hmm. Now you just sort of like a tingliness uh, from the, like the residual sugar. But this is natural residual sugar. There's no sugar added back. Mm -hmm. It's just that you stop fermenting it before it's entirely dry. So some gotcha. of the sugars are not. These are grape sugars that are left over. Right. So, very good. But yeah, well, this works extremely do. well. And then, so the other, you know, when people say, oh, I love, I love with sweet moscat or something, so are they adding sugar? Uh, no, you can, uh, not necessarily. It can be the case, uh -huh. but generally speaking, when you're doing a traditional muscat, you just stop fermenting it early and you just right. leave lots of grape sugars behind. Gotcha. It will mean that obviously the alcohol is going to be lower because mm -hmm. you're not fermenting everything to alcohol, you're just leaving right. sugar. Uh, and some people prefer that as well. Uh, it was like this wine, I'm going to, you have your glasses on, so I'm going to oh, yeah. that. Yeah, so mm -hmm. what are we reading? The alcohol. Oh, yeah, yeah, 12.4. 12.4, yeah, yeah. yeah, so it is, I mean, it's, it's a medium alcohol wine, uh, and part of that is you're leaving some of the sugars behind, mm -hmm. whereas that rosé is actually packs a punch. That's like a 14-something percent uh, wine. Right, so and you can, you, I mean, you're starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel it. it feels, <laughs> makes, makes you a better person. No, makes you run faster, jump higher. Mm -hmm. uh, For about or, or, or at least you think. Or at least you think you are, depending on how, how much you've had to drink. By the, I you know I love I love rosé. I used to I used to be that person that says I only drink reds, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, rosé all day, you can definitely do mm -hmm. rosé all day. It's a, it's a great wine, it's, and especially this one that's just oh god. I mean, Texas is making some amazing rosé. Yeah, now, rosé is a, is a category that's extremely well suited to Texas, mm -hmm. partially because yes, you do get a little tannins for all the red wine drinkers out there pairs with more robust foods, mm -hmm. but then it's cool. And we have a lot of months where it's warm, right. which we're heading into. Mm -hmm. And so rosé is that, that compromise. Uh, yeah. And then I, a lot of the grapes that make really good rosé, which are like the southern French grapes, they grow extremely well here. Mediterranean climate. Right. Uh, so yeah. No, it's, no, perfect, it's, a, it's an perfect amazing match. wine. Well, she was talking about the wine. I went ahead and put this on a skillet, um, saute pan. You, if you have a comal at home, you know, use a comal. So uh, put, let's put a little bit of spray in there because we didn't add any type of um, shortening to our masa the way you normally would do for like tamales or uh, tortillas. It's just masa and water. So what we want to do is we want to create this, you saw it looks like a plate, ashtray. <laughs> so it's so, ash, ashtray. Particle? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we, so we want to, you know, get a nice toasty on the bottom, the sides will start drying mm -hmm. up. Uh, you'll be, you know, the color on top is going to be a lot lighter. You can flip them around if you want to get a little bit more color on the very lid. Sometimes you, you tend to break them, so it's just best if you leave it. Mm -hmm. Let it cook from the bottom up. The steam will go in through the masa. Just like you're making tortillas, you see them rise. Mm -hmm. In this case, they're not going to rise. It's a little bit denser. So 
the texture of the sope is going to be crust. It's going to be a nice crispy bottom crust, soft and you know a little chewy like bread in the middle, and then crunchy on the outside again because of you know the dryness that's created. Mm -hmm. So then you're able to start layering things. Um, we're keeping it simple today. We're doing the chicken. We did the chicken with um, the salsa, the chili pasilla salsa, and then refried beans. These are really cool. I don't know. Do you, do you ever buy these? Do you like no, these? No, I usually buy the ones in the cans. So. Yeah. So um, these are really cool. I, you know, when I was hardcore about my diet, I, in the morning I would have my omelet with a little bit of salsa, the beans, and no cheese. And this was every day. It's zero points if you do Weight Watchers. I don't know if you oh, know the point system. Yeah. So Why is it was that zero, zero points. I'm sorry. Just uh, the protein. I don't know. I don't know how Oprah, since she's young, <laughs> how she how she figures that these things are zero points. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy they are, mm -hmm. and I'm happy that I can eat them all day without having to worry that I'm eating too much beans or eggs. And here's that bag so you can see it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a. I mean, you can buy any brand. Uh, really doesn't matter. But it, it's 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 fairly easy to do. You just Tear it open a little bit. It even tells you 60 seconds on the label. Mm. You know, you can't, it's it's foolproof. So if you're one of these people at home that uh, say you can't cook, um, guess what? You can. Yeah, I know, and microwave exactly. does it all for you, <laughs> you know, and. You remember a time without microwaves, don't you? I do, toaster oven was really cool. Yeah, I, I remember <laughs> um, doing just bread and cheese toaster oven, my grilled cheese. <laughs> Just on a half side bread, or um, my cousin Happy and I, we used to um, experiment with different foods. And I remember one time we, we had this big trend on um, we get marshmallows because we like to see what marshmallows would do instead of roasting them. We put them in toaster ovens mm -hmm. and <laughs> on aluminum foil, and then get all big and watch them expand. And then and then we'd eat them like you know we were not really fat, <laughs> um, but. But it was cool, you know, we love sugar, we love to see the, you know, how the chemistry works when you put them in a the toaster oven, or the microwave, you know, but I really didn't cook much. I enjoyed watching my grandmother or my mom cook for me. Mm -hmm. But since then, it's like, I love to cook, I love to do, you know, I like to be the one in the kitchen doing it, because I like to have control over everything. I feel like if I don't have control, I may not, you know, like, like the outcome. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes I'm like my outcome, you know, but <laughs> at least, you know, the, you can't, you know, blame me for, for it. If something goes wrong, I'm going to look at these. And you can see they're kind of drying up a little bit. I'm going to bring them over here. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's oh. kind of hard to see because, I mean, it's far away from that camera. This one, I don't know where, you, where it's at, but it, it kind of looks like, um, you know, like the earth, the desert. <laughs> you know, and it's kind of crackling and stuff on you, breaking up on you. So... And oh, let me flip one around or just look at it underneath to see how it's looking. Oh, yeah, some more. So I like to cook my stuff like medium, medium, medium low, because you cannot um, you cannot take it back if you burn it, right? So ah, yes, I know safe. It, it's like toast. <laughs> you you do toast and you overdo it. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. I, I know, know you're really a red wine drinker, so I probably. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to go up that one, <laughs> but I don't also want to come back to it after I do that. So we'll let that one breathe. <laughs> we can get away. We can get away with your wine expertise yes, comes out. Yeah, we can let that one breathe. So that way I can finish this one. So we're letting the other one breathe, guys. And so here we go. Yes. No. Just sort of take, take a little pause here. I I just opened the High Plains Tempranillo mm -hmm. uh, from uh, 2016. Uh, this was actually um, was awarded a top Texas uh, Tempranillo this last year mm -hmm. uh, as part of the Lone Star International Wine Competition. So this is a really solid Tempranillo. Uh, we obviously specialize in Tempranillo, so I definitely wanted to open this. I'm looking forward to pairing it with the chicken once mm -hmm. we can uh, deploy that in the sopas. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, this is a really nice. It's got a you know. The, the, the traditional thing with Tempranillo is you get that cherry and strawberry, maybe a little plum. But this also has a really nice minerality and it transitions really well to like the, the, the heartier notes like you know, leather, chocolate, depending on you know, what you pick up. Right. So this is a, a really nice Tempranillo, so it should go wonderfully right. with this once it's all assembled. So. And you put all those notes on your bottles, right? Mm-mm. 
Not on the bottles. They're actually, I mean, if you come to our tasting room when it's open, mm -hmm. uh, this is part of the experience of having a tasting is that people will run through what, you know, they get on it. But the fact is, you taste on wine what it is that you eat, mm -hmm. uh, and so you're going to, you're, the actual notes that you get are going to be different from different. whatever it is. So whatever we write down, it's more nearly a guide as it, than it is actually like fat, you know, hard, right. hard fact, if you will. So, right. Anyway. No, that's a, that's a really oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, you can look online <laughs> as well. For the notes? <laughs> yes, for notes. We do right. have notes online. So Good. for those who drink and go online. I didn't. <laughs> for, those who drink, for those, especially now. No, this yeah, is true, true, no, true. guys, this is Julie's personality. I swear to you, she's not drunk. Neither am I. We've only drank uh, a little bit of our first glass, and we started at 1 o'clock. We have proof, because that's when the recording started. <laughs> We have evidence. Right, we have evidence. We have hardcore evidence that that we're doing this right. Get it, get it, get it. What is this? What is this show about me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I promise you, we're 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 all here. And if you all have any questions about what we're doing, how we're doing it, about the winery, about um, just anything, life, health, or if you're bored, you just want to start any type of chat, that's fine. But here we go. I was supposed to do that. Um, <laughs> Live TV. <laughs> Did I drink this yet or not? Okay, I'm, I'm no, gonna, I don't think you're trying to. Okay, good. We're in, we're gonna leave that there. You're still airing. It's still airing. To let it breathe. <laughs> so I'm gonna look at these. I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna flip it around really quick just to look at it again. Here we go. So I'm gonna bring one up here. I don't know if Carrie can see this on the screen, right? So nice little crust. Um, the light you can see inside is kind of starting to um, dry up, which is great. I'm gonna flip it around. You don't have to flip them around at home if you don't want to, but it just creates a really nice color on that lip. And if you're a chef, you're all about presentation and flavor. So it's kind of all because if it looks good, you're why gonna eat you it. Show, why don't you show everyone, I mean, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Instagram everywhere, like, yeah, what this everyone. looks like on the back. So you see that's yeah, just starting Nice to, color. Yeah, it's sort of like doing quesadillas. You said, you know, just want a little bit of. Yeah. Just a little caramelization or the Maynard effect in culinary school. <laughs> Malfier teaches you what everything is. Maynard effect is just um, the reaction, mm. you know, from the sugars of the food to how, you know, the heat. So, so how it creates more flavor and so forth. So that's the technical, the knife, the Maynard effect. <laughs> you take two things away from this class and you don't have to spend $40,000 on skull. Yeah, culinary school. Yeah, culinary, right? <laughs> so that's that. But the same thing when you're heating up any meat. That's why food is always a lot better. The you know the Mexicans have a calentado because you know when you reheat it up, you create even more flavors. Because a lot of us, I love putting whatever I cooked the day before back in the pan. Mm -hmm. I don't like nuking it mm -hmm. unless you know I'm like super desperate. I get home, it's like oh my god, pop something. In. <laughs> if it's a hot dog, maybe <laughs> you know, <laughs> but not anything else. A pizza too. I don't put it in the microwave. I put it. Well, you put I'm a lying. pizza back into the oven. I would like yeah yeah, yeah if I can yeah. if it's not. You know, because again, I don't know if, I mean, I don't know if it's like a, just, I don't want to use the word, you know, like what I am. <laughs> it's, it's, um, if it's too much stuff inside the oven, because we like to take, you know, and, and use that for storage, <laughs> <laughs> then you know what I'm getting at. <laughs> then, then I'll do it, but I mean, I've been leaving stuff out of the oven lately, so, mm -hmm. you know. I do. So the sopas are about done. I'm going to try to heat off with the main heat. Uh, the meat's done. We're going to start putting it together really quick. But I need to finish this off because yeah. I really need to start my red. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I switch? All right. Gracias. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, before we start, let me get this cutting board back up. We're going to start cutting a tomato because we're going to use the tomato too. You can use your big knife. I think I can. <laughs> Thank you. Finally. <laughs> Finally. And there's no, I mean, there's no really right way, wrong way to do tomatoes. It depends on how you like them. If you like them sliced a certain way and then do them a certain way. I'm just going to do a quarter of them and then just um, roughly you know, do something small. Would you consider a tomatillo for something like this recipe? Yeah, you could. I mean, a tomatillo is going to be more acidic. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so what I would do in that case, I would. Um, Roast tomatillo, mm -hmm. you know, kind of do a salsa. Speaking of, um, another sauce. Ah, there we go. Fishing Weezer already has it done for you. Tomatillo, <laughs> if you want to do that, um, you can still put the tomatillo sauce if this is a salsa verde, mm -hmm. uh, ranchera. 
Uh, because it's more acidic, mm -hmm. you know, and then of course, um, if you look, zoom into it, you can see a little, all the charred pieces in there. It's pretty cool from blood skin there. Right. Uh, it's again, my art fit, giving you more flavor right. to that. Uh, like so, yeah, Instagram, there you go, guys. <laughs> oh, wait, where's the label at? There it is. So, but yeah, Tomatillo would be cool if you're doing it like that because it can be super, super acidic. Um, but if that's the flavor you want to go for, there's no, again, there's no wrong, wrong way to to do it. It's all preference, just like wine. You think? But there is wrong ways to do it. Well, <laughs> no. Well, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. My bad. <laughs> I guess you don't want to eat. You know. No, but if you have fresh ingredients, yes. Right. If you have, if you, you have good grapes and you right. treat them right, yes. Well, I, 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 no, I'm talking about like pairing it. Oh, okay. So, because a lot of people are like, oh, you can't have white with this. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Right, and it's only made for chicken or fish, but that's incorrect, that's right? Correct. Yeah, that's not correct. Right, so it's, that's... No, that was shorthand for a lot of people. I mean, it's, it is intimidating to try to decide, because mm -hmm. a lot of people have a lot of strong preferences in terms of wine, and mm -hmm. then they just sort of want to pair it with whatever they're having, mm -hmm. and yeah, there's better and worse pairings when it's all said and done. Uh, but, you know, the, the fact is, it's all about experimentation. You know, right. It, and if it works for you, it works. Right, so. then, you know, there's more wine. Yeah. Then you just pick up another bottle. Another bottle. Another bottle. <laughs> Not a big deal. There we go. So, turn this bag open. Oh, for the person that doesn't want to make a mess, I tend to make a big mess. I'm just going to put that out there because it's what I wanted to do, anyways. Mm -hmm. There we go. Just going to put it up. So, keeping it simple. Open up beans all the way. And these are already heated up now. These are heated up. Only only took 60 seconds. That's mm -hmm. what the thing says, right? Okay. I'm just left them in there, let them rest a little bit longer. Um, we have our there you go. Soap is ready. You got a little color on the edges, you see? Mm -hmm. It's not. It's enough. Oh. Tell me. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, I think she, for Carrie, I'll, I'll move it back. I'll move it back a little bit. Oh, here. okay, to be able to see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for okay. this one, here we go. There we go. Who's that? And the picture. There <laughs> we go. I'm gonna put that up to the side. Clean up. But yeah, because mm -hmm. you know me. Yeah. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep this close, but no. <laughs> we didn't even open that uh, one. No, <laughs> not yet. We'll, we'll put her over here. Mm -hmm. We're making it a her. Good. We got it. Yeah, it's nice to see the color. So yeah. if if you if people decide to turn it over, I mean, how careful do they have to be so it doesn't not, like, smush? Not very, because it's already created a crust from just all the evaporation from the heat. Okay. So it, it's going to keep its form unless that you turn it prematurely, you know. But as long as you have a nice color in the bottom and you see the cracks starting to form, mm -hmm. then you know you're safe to turn it turn around. Over. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So that's it. So we're going to start by layering our stuff and since you've got gloves on. No, oh, I get to spoon. You get to do it. Okay. Now, I also How much should I put on each of these? Um, like that? Yeah, try it. Now, if it doesn't come off, um, you can use two spoons and mm -hmm. kind of just play with it there. Mm -hmm. That way. And you put it on. If you just put a little bit on, on all of it, you can come back with both hands and hold it. That way the but the, uh, the um, soap it doesn't move around on you. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Do it that way. I know, guys, you can't see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to uh, there we go. Oh, our Instagrammers can see what we're doing over here as well. Not sure I want them to. Oh, God. No, you're actually good. Just put them all on first and we'll do it. Uh, and while you do that, I'll just come behind you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's sticky. It's sticky. Yeah. Be good. I've been to so many wine and food events and people can coordinate all this, like three people working on the same dish at once. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, you either, you either have it or you don't do it. We have it. <laughs> this is like the... That was beautiful. Yeah, and we're like... I'm making a little mess, guys. I'm normally not this messy. I promise you. <laughs> no, I don't promise you. Now you there can you come and visit my kitchen and clean up behind things for mm -hmm. me, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, little or as light as you want on this chicken. <laughs> um, now, we are going to use some cheese, uh, cotija cheese. This is an aged uh, skim milk cheese. 
Let me see if I got a, um, we don't have a spoon because. We can, we can make a spoon happen here. I got it, I got it, I got it. There you go, it's nice and see that texture on it. It's just, it's not gonna melt on there. We're just gonna put it on there, dust it on lightly. Like that. So why this cheese as opposed to some other? The age, I'm sharp, sharper, you know, aged cheese tends to be. It's, it's not, it's got a lot of flavor. It's not going to be melting, so it doesn't, a lot of times, it, you, know, you can use like a Oaxaca and melt the cheese on it. It's just, mm -hmm. for me, it's texture. Okay. You know, you want, you want to, you don't want it all to be super creamy and some crunchy. So it keeps it on the lighter side, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and I just love the aged cheese a lot, a lot more than what I do. You know, I like I'll eat pecorino or grano padano or something like that instead of mozzarella even though right. it goes great on a pizza but still I'll just pour if I have parmesan I'd rather put parmesan on my pizza it's just preference cool. and of course look and everything else a little bit more traditional as well mm -hmm. and then we'll finish by topping it off with some lettuce so we do have some plates maybe so we can like god no we don't eat plates don't you know why plates. because <laughs> because um a soap is made to be eaten with your hand. Oh, that's awfully big. <laughs> I'm not. You're not gonna pop the whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> Why not? I mean, some people have. <laughs> so, so, some people have practice. I'm sure, but but really, I mean, you don't you don't need to pop everything in your mouth at one okay. time. Okay. It's not like Good. a candy you know. or. It's a, but you know what? I'll give you a plate. Oh, thanks. Because. <laughs> You asked for it. Yeah, that's actually like a plate, and yeah. then a fork. I know I'm supposed to. No, God, no, you're getting carried away with a fork. You are getting carried away with a fork. Ugh. No, I think plates are. I got them right here. I got them. Right. I got, I'm ready. I'm oh, ready for a plate. Set. I know. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. And it's not even my. It's not even my kitchen. <laughs> uh, you just guess it. No, I know. Show everyone here. I mean, you could. Here we go. Here's a. Here's a sope. There you go. Breathe them. I mean, I'm afraid I'm gonna tilt the back. It's gonna go. Sope. All right, you see it? You know, I'm, I don't know. I get it closer to this one. <laughs> There's a soap. All right, perfect. Okay, that's mine. Okay, and so I mean, plate. so <laughs> you can see how you can get your kids involved by you know do the masa part of it. Yeah, obviously, you don't want them grabbing a knife and cutting this stuff. But well, certainly, it, they wouldn't grab it correctly. Yeah, I'm sure. That, I mean, my girls probably would. My son for sure. Um, <laughs> But I still wouldn't even trust my girls with it because you know, I, I don't trust my girls with anything, to be honest with you. I love them, but God. And that's it. I mean, it's super easy recipe, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to take a bite of it. Just so you can prove that it's, that it's not. With my, uh, oh, yeah, I haven't done that. I haven't mm -hmm. tried the wine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try it with the worm. Hmm. No, I think this will bring out the fruitiness, definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I almost get like for me it's like dark cherries or Yeah, dark cherry, definitely. Now this is really, really nice. So it brings out the the the, the slight spiciness, the earthiness here brings out mm -hmm. the fruit. Like because they said dark cherry. But it's it's almost like jammy mm -hmm. uh, cherry, and then it's got like a nuttiness to it, to mm -hmm. me, like a hazelnut or uh, right. an almond. So it, it almost has like a, a dessert-like quality relative to the food. So it is just very. And we're gonna play with the um, the flavors. Of course, you can always have. I'm, I'm opening up Fisher and Weezer's salsa verde. Mm -hmm. We, yeah, I mean, you can find the salsa jelly.com. If, or if you even, if you're in Fredericksburg, San Antonio. Yeah. You want it on the side or on top? No, just on, on one, one edge? corner. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to try it with the, the diva. Yeah. That might go really well. So you can go to jelly.com, pick that sauce up. Um, we'll ship it to you so you don't have to get out. Um, das Peach House is doing a drive through You can go by there and pick up whatever products you like. Mm -hmm. There, they'll, they'll, they're also doing, I believe, bread on Saturdays and baking bread and oh, nice. kind of a little care pack. That's very nice. Right? Yeah, it's really cool. And then, um, I'm not sure if HEB has this one, but I'll show you some other products that we have in a minute. Talk to, talk to me about your wine. Yeah, no, here you got a little more spice, and obviously the green flavors, the salsa mm -hmm. verde. So I would definitely go with the Diva at this point, with mm -hmm. that kind of, of pairing. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this becomes very fruity, very flowery. It's really nice. Not as much of the savory that I was getting earlier, mm -hmm. uh, but with this pairing, yeah, you really bring out the fruity and the, the floral on it. And it doesn't even taste sweet anymore because it's just completely balancing with the spiciness. So it just, it's sort of like a harmony where you don't really, the spiciness is a little less spicy and the sweetness is a little sweet, but they go together perfectly well. That's awesome. So. It's a big difference on it. Mm -hmm. um, what else do we have? Oh, oh, really quick. Mm -hmm. No, 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 maybe not. It's very quick. Uh, of course, you can always do different products at home uh, with Fisher and Weezer. We have some really cool other stuff that you can be even talk about pairing with the wine. But yeah, let me. The, we have one more wine to open. And I yeah, where's that? That is, you moved her. Oh God, <laughs> oh, we moved her. We moved her. <laughs> So let me get the opening over here. Yeah, so I think with, what, what is it? With one was a marinara, which is this oh, one. Yeah. And then that's here, a soup. And that's a soup. So it's something with more traditional or more uh, Italian type flavors, let's, let's put it that way. I would really recommend you think about something like the Padanale Cellars uh, GSM Melange. Uh, it's a very food friendly mm -hmm. um, wine in general, but particularly with the sort of warm i would say warm herbal flavors mm -hmm. i don't know that's how i think of italian food is just sort of being warm herbal flavors uh the tomatoes right mm -hmm. the, the hardiness of the, the tomatoes mm -hmm. and then also it'll cut with the the cream there it'll mm -hmm. cut the cream because it does have enough tannin it's not overly tannic but it will cut it just to, just enough to to to, uh, to highlight those flavors right. so let me and it's cool because you you know depending on how you make the i love to make this soup with um and adding chunks of pancetta in a pan to get a little bit more fat into it even though you sh I shouldn't be doing it because of my cholesterol mm -hmm. just the flavor is so amazing with pancetta mm -hmm. there you go there you go you can get my muscle off <laughs> but it's um, the mom's tomato basil uh, not the, yeah this is the uh, tomato basil soup super easy to use just literally just put it in the microwave or on the stove top if you don't like using the microwave um, Oh, I got one more glass. Try me. Give me one more glass, please. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just curious. Oh, yeah. No, definitely should try this and see what you think. But you know these uh, these sauces and these soups yeah. Thank you. personally. So you can actually think about what the pairing would actually right. look like. And I really just want to Yeah, if you were drink it. I know yeah. I have. Which is also great. <laughs> we encourage that. <laughs> Good. I encourage drinking, too. If my mom watches this, she's like... <laughs> you shouldn't be encouraging people to drink, but you should. You should. <laughs> you should. I, I think it's especially important. now. Especially now, these times you're at home. I know. You know. I, I don't know if I mean, how old are your kids? Uh, fourteen and sixteen, about to be fifteen and seventeen. So you're still in school and you're doing the homeschool. Yeah. You well, I have to say, I mean, this is a shout out. I know this is completely local to the Fredericksburg uh, Independent School District. They have done an amazing job. They have. My girls are coming home. They have a lot of electronic assignments. Uh, and they're busy. I, you know, I, my homeschooling, I'm not schooling them, I'm just giving them the support because the, the real heart is the real problem or difficulty is it's social. Oh, yeah. I've, I've all, well, I mean, I've learned that our teachers are just so amazing at what they do, and we take that for granted. But now mm -hmm. that we're having to do it ourselves, it's, I mean, it's difficult. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I feel like it's difficult for me, anyways, and my, I'm sure my wife too. And it's one of those things that you do what you have to do. You try to do your best to, you know, to teach them or help them through there. But I mean, it's, I, I mean, I remember going to school and I didn't have that. It was hard. Yeah. Uh, it, was it was hard. So a it was, lot of support in the community and in the school. And yeah. So it's, it's really shown under the, the circumstances. Yeah. So. so, I mean, again, hopefully, you know, y'all, y'all take something away from this. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very, fairly easy to to do a recipe like we did today. Um, there's very little ingredients, they're all shelf stable. If you have a nice bottle of wine, you know, especially, and if you don't, here we are. I know you're, you know. Yeah, we are available, I should say, we are available for curbside pickup for anyone who wants to get out and come out to the Hill Country. The, the wildflowers are beautiful this year, and this is a very, you know, healthy way to get out of, particularly if you're in an urban area, get out. Um, we will bring the wine straight to your car, particularly if you do an online order in advance or if you call us. Uh, and literally, we're just handing it over to you and go, you know, go home yeah. and you can enjoy it. And you get a trip to the hill country at the same time and look at some wildflowers, which are beautiful. They too. are. I was driving past uh, the, uh, the wild 
farm. Yeah, Wall, Wesley uh, Farm. Wall Street mm -hmm. Farm. God, I mean, everything's red, lined up. It looks. People, are, I mean, it's. Make sure you pull over to the side of the road or pull in. Can you pull in? Is, are they open? I do not know, actually. Well, I mean, don't pull in the middle of the lane. I saw somebody <laughs> in the middle of the lane <laughs> today. The big one. It's like, no, God. <laughs> And it's really good. So be safe, guys. Um, stay home if you can. You know, practice um, social distancing. Um, wear your face mask if you have to when you go out to the stores. Mm -hmm. Every day I learn something new about this virus, and it's 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 awful sad. But you know, sometimes you have to look at the nice stuff, like how nature is recovering from a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of it's it's beautiful to see Venice uh, looking nicer, even in San Antonio. The river walk looks great. Mm -hmm. um, there's, I mean, there's a lot of positive out there besides the negative. I know we talk about a lot about the, neg the negative stuff, but it, you know, it's just, I guess, just being aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. being aware. Yeah, and no, take care of yourself. Trying to, and, and also trying to get out in nature because the reality is that you know most of nature is not affected by this, and mm -hmm. it's a beautiful year. It's a beautiful time of year, yeah. and you know, being out and staying active mm -hmm. is a good way to counteract any of the cholesterol or high blood pressure yes, you're yes, going to be yes, suffering yes, yes. from. Uh, and so, yeah, no, going to the vineyard is is a great, you know, it's very cathartic for me because it is it's a gorgeous time of year, and yeah, you feel better, and you know that this will pass. It will, and we will uh, have them. A new normal that is a good normal. <laughs> yes, for sure. So, anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. It's yeah. been great today, and hopefully, y'all took something away from it, either technical or fun. I don't know if we're missing anything else out. Uh, you can go to uh, Fernando Sellers website. Mm -hmm. What's the website? FernandoSellers.com. Nice. <laughs> uh, jelly.com. It's pretty easy to uh, remember that. Jelly.com. Yes. Uh, find any products you want. Uh, we'll ship it to you if you don't want to come out. Or you can do the drive-by to Das Peach House. You can also um, go to the viewer at HEB because everyone's looking for an out. So sometimes they go, you have to go to HEB. We're there. Also Walmart. Um, mm -hmm. Go to Walmart. We have a lot of jams and jellies there. Uh, what else? I'm pr pretty much just any of your local grocery stores. If you're not in Texas, you can check that out as well. So... Um, Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Our Instagram is again Pernella Sellers, right? Yes, Pernella Sellers. Facebook and Sailor. we will continue to be doing live events. Uh, so uh, keep keep posted. Keep yeah. looking into what we're yeah. doing. Uh, so yeah, definitely. Cool. Um, I'm Chef Leo. Follow me on uh, eatfbgtx uh, on Instagram.com. Also, um, just Chef Leo Aguirre. If, so if y'all have any concerns, I, right now I've started, uh, I do a lot of stuff. Uh, I work for Fisher & Weezer. I do um, help on marketing. So uh, I'm actually offering my services right now. So if anybody has a local business, restaurant, even uh, retail, or, you know, I'm, I'm shooting a picture, giving them a professional uh, photo for free. They can use it on social media to market themselves um, however they see fit. So hopefully I can help y'all out in that way. Just don't bombard me with you know all at the same time. But um, yeah, it is, a, it is an excellent time to discover your favorite businesses, your favorite local businesses online because all of us have shifted online. Certainly, ordering wine and having it shipped to you is one of the best ways. Yeah. Uh, to get it right now, uh, because you don't even have to leave your home, right. and you are home. So when you deliver, you can sign for it. So yeah. uh, this is an excellent time to sort of. We think how you you know you source your wine and you source your food and exactly um, and we you know we have all these restaurants still also open yeah. you know so they're delivering to you or um, you can go by there and pick it up so support your local businesses whether food retail wineries whatever it may be you know we got to help each other out these times mm -hmm. so but anyways guys thank you for watching enjoy and uh, be safe yeah. practice all those concerns and thank you cheers salud. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep on drinking after this. After. We have to clean up, so bye, guys.